The entire political system has collapsed. Both loos are broken again. The pet zebra needs a tranquilizer, and now this damn fan is kaput. Uh, Rosie, can you fix this? Which? The political system, the loo, the zebra, or the fan? <laughs> Everything, starting with the fan, please. The political system might be easier. <laughs> I'm listening now. Are you happy? 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 Who's happy, really? How am I supposed to get to work? The old regime may have been corrupt, but at least they've got things done. And now this pet zebra is acting like a real asshole. Well, Thomas, it's better than that moody ostrich. Yes, but she tasted so delicious. <laughs> she was a real treat, that Olivia. Mm. <laughs> Teresa, my copper mine is effectively a copper theirs. It's crawling with bandits, poachers, competing militias, and there's fuck all I can do about it. I'm a serious businessman here. <laughs> Well, the fan works. <clears throat> 1,600 UN peacekeepers with Manuska, Christians, Muslims, Muslims, Christians, the Seleka, recruiting child soldiers for crying They're out. They're looking for work, Thomas. You can hire them too. Just ask Rosie. It's, it's too unstable. These children, nine years old, ran into a mosque. The anti balaka Right, yes, the anti balaka Teresa! I hope you have a safe trip, my dear. Teresa, please forgive me. I know how important your twice daily transcendental meditation is. Well, the sooner you learn to transcend, the cheaper our air travel will be. <laughs> you should try it. It's better than those blood pressure tablets, I promise. Thank you, darling. Now, <sighs> remind me, what is it exactly that you're trying to do this weekend? We're trying to overthrow the government and reopen my copper mine, darling. And then, if all goes well, brunch. 